Airbus Spain has delivered the 10th C-295 aircraft to the Indian Air Force. After Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates has expressed their interest in the Turkish Khan fighter program. Bangalore-based Singularity Aerospace has unveiled the X-61 UAV, that has a maximum operating range of 250 km and a stable cruising speed of 38 meters per second. The Trump administration has released $397 million for Pakistan, to carry out programs sponsored by the United States for monitoring the use of F-16 fighter jets, ensuring that the F-16 is used against terrorism and not against India. New Space Research and Technologies has successfully conducted the first test of the Sheshnag 150 Strike UAV, and it hit its designated ground target, achieving a circular error probable of 5 meters. The DRDO has announced plans to develop an indigenous laser designation pod for the Tejas Mark 1A Tejas Mark 2 and AMCA fighter jets. MKU Limited has delivered an unspecified number of its Cafrodimo ballistic helmets to the Indian Army, and the helmet is also undergoing trials abroad by a foreign military. The Indian Army has successfully concluded the Cyclone 3 Joint Special Forces exercise with the Egyptian Special Forces at Mohajan Field Firing Ranges in Rajasthan. The Indian Army has started the exercise Derma Guardian 2025 with the Japanese Army in Shizuoka, Japan. The newly formed high-level committee is considering to hand over a significant share of the forthcoming 65,000 crore rupees order for 97 Tejas Mark 1A to the private sector companies like Tato Advanced Systems Larsen and Tubro VEM Technologies and Dynamatic Technologies. The private sector firms will initially focus on Tejas Mark 1A assembly, that will later be expanded to the AMCA program. Hindustan Aeronautics has claimed of achieving 30 Tejas Mark 1A annual production rate by 2027, but doubts persist about HAL's ability to scale production to meet these demands. HAL might be asked to give its Nashik facility to a private entity under a long-term lease agreement, where the private firm would first master local assembly under the guidance of Hindustan Aeronautics, and the private firm could assume full control of the facility over time, thus transforming it into a dual-purpose hub for both Tejas Mark 1A and AMCA production. The DRDO has announced plans to develop an indigenous laser designation pod for the Tejas Mark 1A and Mark 2 fighter jets, that will replace the Israeli-supplied lightning targeting pods. Talks with Indian Air Force on specifications and technical requirements is over, and the Air Force has demanded some next-generation features, so that it can be used on 4.5-generation fighters as well as on AMCA 5th-generation fighter. The formation of a cost negotiation committee is underway, that will comprise officials from the Ministry of Defense Indian Navy and representatives from Mazagin Dock Ship Builders, that will expedite the Indian Navy's six Project 75 I submarines deal with Tissencrypt Marine Systems of Germany. Tissencrypt Marine Systems is required to transfer 100% of the necessary technology to India, that includes both commercial and technical aspects ensuring that India gains comprehensive knowledge to design and build submarines independently in the future. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment has invited Indian private sector vendors for collaboration in the development of a sophisticated autoloader for the FRCV program. The advanced autoloader will automate the loading of ammunition into the main gun, that will improve firing rates and reduce crew requirements and also enhance combat efficiency in high-intensity and rapid response operations. Today's Top 3 Comments